If you are writing GATE BM 2025 exam, then this video is for you because lot of students have doubt. Sir, you have taught engineering mathematics course, which is common to all branch, but I am writing biomedical exam. So how will I know which chapters I have to study, which chapters I have to leave? Moreover, which topics I have to leave as per my official syllabus? Do not worry. Everything would be covered in the today's video. Just watch the video completely. First of all, there are two courses on my app. So on the Shrenik Jain Study Simplified app, one course is in Hindi, other course is in English. The basic difference is about the speaking style. In English, everything would be taught in English. But in Hindi, I will do in Hindi as I am talking to you, but content will remain in English. Mein That's all. This is the minor difference. Otherwise, the content remains the same. Now, talking about your official syllabus, you have this as per the IIT Roorkee Gate 2025. This is your official syllabus, right? And in my course, you, may, you will see that I have taught eight chapter linear algebra calculus probability. Then we have differential equation, vector calculus, complex variable then numerical method and transform theory. If I want to complete my video in short, I will say all the eight chapters you have to study, all the topics you have to study, nothing can be lived in short. But if you want the clarity, how come? Because when I see the official syllabus, one, two, three, four, five, six, only six chapters. So let me give you the depth knowledge. Okay. First point is about the linear algebra. When they say matrix algebra, this means all the basics of matrices, the basic concepts, the properties, inverse, the determinant, everything. Why? Because all these concepts are used in the advanced topics. Therefore, basics, everything you have to study in the linear algebra folder, you will see 10 lectures. So basics of matrices, operation, determinant, inverse, everything you have to study. Then eigenvalues and eigenvectors, rank of the matrix, solution of system, miscellaneous concept, everything you have to study because this includes everything. Point number one. Point number two in the calculus, you might see only the calculus part, but no, there is mix of everything. Mean value theorem. So to understand the mean value theorem, you should know about the continuity and differentiability. So hence, if you want to understand about the continuity and differentiability, the main part is you have to understand about the limits concept. Yes. So this means starting with limits, then limit continuity differentiability, and then comes the mean value theorem. Understood. So indirectly, everything you have to study. Then we have theorems of integral calculus. So integration, everything you have to study. Then partial derivative, maxima, minima, multiple integral. It comes everything, right? So full this lecture series you have to watch. Nothing can be skipped. Now you may have doubt, uh, but sir, in the calculus, they are also saying Fourier series, all these things that is not mentioned in your folder. Why so? Because Fourier series is part of tra uh, transform theory. So if you want to study Fourier series, go to the course, then go down to the transform theory folder and then click on it. Then see the lecture. You will get your Laplace transform and Fourier series. So sir, Fourier series is there, which means Laplace transform can be omitted. If you see this syllabus, Laplace transform is not there, but Laplace transform is present in your core, which is signal and system. So indirectly you have to study Laplace transform. So you have to watch complete folder understood of transform theory complete folder you have to study nothing can be skipped understood so this was about the transform theory then comes the vector calculus so vector calculus also there are three parts basics of vectors derivatives in vectors integration in vectors now you see here this is what this is integration in vectors but vector identity is derivatives in vectors so derivatives in vectors and integration in vectors can be studied only when your basics of vectors are clear. So indirectly vector calculus completely you have to study. So that's the whole part in the calculus uh, chapter. They have kept the calculus plus transform theory plus the vector calculus syllabus. Understood now. Then comes the differential equation, everything first order, higher order, partial differential equation, everything. Comes the complex variable, everything to study the advanced topics like analytic function, basics of complex variable is needed. So basics of complex variable, derivatives, integration, everything you have to study. No topic can be left. Comes the probability and statistics. So sampling theorem and all these things are added 
in my course so let me make it clear that in probability there are 15 lectures so basics of probability random variables probability distribution statistics correlation regression and comes the sampling and hypothesis testing right so as per your syllabus see that last part sampling theorem and test of significance these are all part of uh, lecture 14 and 15 understood and comes this conditional probability these are basics of probability right mean median mode standard deviation this is statistics random variable and this are all uh, these are random variables and probability distribution lectures and uh, linear regression correlation i have taught so sample size estimator and all these things that is the part of hypothesis so i hope this part is also clear no doubt on that okay comes the next uh, we have numerical method numerical method also everything you have to study from the folder so this is the in-depth analysis indirectly everything you have to study nothing can be skipped from my course that was given alert earlier only in short i told you complete course you have to study so six chapters plus this seventh and this eighth all these eight chapters are there and i hope now you got the clarity thank you for watching this video